and a memorial to Britain's first black magistrate was unveiled at the National Justice Museum in Nottingham today. Eric Irons served in the Royal Air Force and became a prominent race equality campaigner in Nottingham. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. Two sons bursting with pride. It's 57 years since Eric Irons became Britain's first black justice of the peace. Today, formal recognition in a city that he helped to change. I think it's a fantastic legacy. It's quite overwhelming. Very strange. I would not like to have appeared in front of him. I mean, he was, he was very strict, but more importantly, he was very, very fair. And he received some hate mail, including from the Ku Klux Klan, with death threats. So he just told us to ignore all the, all the worst parts of that and remember the vast majority of people were very, very supportive. Eric Irons was born in Jamaica and served with the Royal Air Force before settling in Nottingham. He led the fight to overturn a ban on black people driving local buses. And when the city was rocked by a race riot in 1958, Eric Irons made national headlines by acting as a peacemaker. He used to have all these uh, placards in the window, no blacks, no Irish, no dogs. And then um, people, um, you know, all started fighting against uh, colour, people of colour. Um, but what my daddy did was he got both white and black together and let them iron it out together, really. And that's what I mean about him and his legacy of integration. Today, Eric's family came to see where he used to preside as a magistrate at a time when this TV interview shows just what he was up against. How will you react if an accused person declines to have you sit on the case? Well, that would be, I presume, his right if he thinks that he doesn't want me there. Do you think the time is right for a coloured person to be a JP in the city? It was an absolutely huge deal and um, completely changed the face of our justice system. If you think about the people we see of, 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 of different colours in the justice system now, that wouldn't have been there 50, 60 years ago if Eric Irons hadn't championed the way. Eric Irons broke through a glass ceiling. He fought for equality and won. And more than half a century on, Britain's a very different place. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Nottingham.